Unit four is about covalent molecules. The first thing that we need to discuss is how to name covalent molecules. And what you have to remember is that covalent molecules are made of two non-metals. So they're the things to the, you have two things to the right of the stair step. You use prefixes to indicate how many of each atom there are in the formula. You only use a prefix though on the first element if there is a subscript. Remember, subscripts are the little things that follow the letters. You always use a prefix on the second element. So the prefix mono is only used for the second element if there is one of them. We would never say mono for the first element. The second element still has to end in IDE, just like it did for ionic. To write a formula, you have to just write down exactly what it says. You don't cross charges because we're dealing with nonmetals. And if you don't know your prefixes, they're listed for you. Mono, di, tri, tetra, penta, hexa, hepta, octa, nano, and deca. Now sometimes with oxygen, because it is oxide and it starts with an O, these A's may or may not be dropped. If you forget that, it's fine. It's not going to be counted wrong, but just be aware that sometimes those A's are dropped when it's with oxygen. So let's look at some examples. CO2. We have two nonmetals because both carbon and oxygen are found to the right of the stairs. So we just write down the first element, carbon. Carbon doesn't have a subscript, so we don't need a prefix. And then oxygen has a subscript of two, so we need the prefix di. And then oxygen changes to oxide, so this is carbon dioxide. Here, our first element has a subscript, so we need a prefix. Four is tetra. P is phosphorus. Then we have 10 oxygens, so 10 dec. Remember the A and the O, the A gets dropped, and so O is oxide. So this is tetraphosphorus decoxide. Now if we needed to go the other direction, which I think is the easiest, you just write down what it tells you. So it says oxygen difluoride, so two fluorines. And that's it. Carbon monoxide. So carbon, mono means one, so we have one oxygen, so CO. 